Kenneth Niedermeyer of 90 Day Fiancé and his sweetheart Armando Rubio recently left clues that show how their relationship ends this season of The Other Way. For now, they're just starting with Kenneth leaving Florida and Armando informing his family of his plans. See what's going on, what the duo said and if their love can overcome obstacles. In a recent conversation with us, we asked Kenneth Niedermeyer if they were the first gay male couple on TLC. Armando Rubio said that they wanted to show their true love and that two men can have a family and be happy. Then Kenneth, 90 Day American Partner, the other way, said that love doesn't have to be Romeo and Juliet, adding that sometimes it can be Romeo and Romeo. That made Armando Rubio smile. Immediately, they became the favorite couple of fans this season. Their significant age difference, from 57 years of Kenneth Niedermeyer to 31 years of Armando Rubio, is almost a 90-day staple. Although their 26 years are not the most significant age difference. Do you remember Mark, 58, and Nikki, 19, from season 3? But there is so much more to this May to December pair. The host asked how they ended up during the split of the 90-day fiancé. So Kenneth Niedermeyer said he had watched TLC but Armando Rubio had never heard of it. But at the time, Kenneth said he didn't mean it because he's based on a stranger coming to America, not like their situation. But then 90 Day Fiancé launched the other way. Then Kenneth said, this is exactly what I do when I move to Mexico to be with Armando Rubio. So he and Armando spoke and decided to apply. He said it was last summer and it was a long process. Then Kenneth Niedermeyer said he was not sure that he and Armando Rubio wanted to film 90 Day Fiancé and that they had doubts. Why? Kenneth said, we are sort of individuals, sort of. But he and Armando wanted people to see that love is love. So they decided to go all the way. You can see in the photo above, from the interview in the United States, that Armando Rubio is still with Kenneth Niedermeyer. And, they are in their shared house in Mexico. So spoiler alert, don't expect a breakup. Kenneth is very happy, still with Armando. And, despite the coming conflict over 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, they quarantine together. Kenneth said they get along very well and form a team through good and bad. And Armando said it brought us even closer. For the rest of the 90 Day Fiancé episodes, Kenneth Niedermeyer warns that they are very emotional. He said he expected tears, struggles and happiness. And, he mentioned a lot of roadblocks. Then Armando Rubio said that all of this was a learning process that connects cultures together. Finally, Armando said he learned a lot from Kenneth during the process. In addition, they said they received a lot of positive feedback. Armando Rubio agreed, as Kenneth Niedermeyer said, if we can change our minds, it's a victory because all relationships are the same.